Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to all those who are just new in my channel, you are welcome. So yeah, today we're going to do another tutorial. I've received a lot of questions before asking how I edit pictures, especially those of my clients, pictures of my models, if you want to call, or my celebrities sometimes. So yeah, people tend to sometimes over edit a photo or a portrait. Sometimes they even remove some of the details that they should not be able to do. Sometimes they blur the light, the ilong, the lips. So today, what I'm going to do is to teach you how to post-process photos, especially the skin, without actually overdoing it and to make it look more natural. Don't forget to like and share this video. Alright, so let's start. Now, okay, so as you can see here, I'm using again Photoshop in editing pictures. Now, I have here a picture of one of the models that we shot before, which is Marta Bora. Of course, with her permission to use the picture on this vlog. Now, you can see that her skin is not really bad. What we're gonna do, ito particular na to, na highlight lang some of her pimples, which is normal. Maliliit na pimples. Uh, kasi nga, very dramatic yung lighting natin dito. Nakita yung mga continuous pimples. So, we're gonna remove that without sacrificing yung quality ng image. We wanna make it look natural as we post-process it. Hindi siya magmumukhang over-edited. Hindi mawawala yung mga details. Eyebrows, lips, etc. Don't forget to like and share this video. So yeah, first thing to do is to duplicate the layer. So right click on the layer and then click on duplicate layer. And then we will name it blemish layer. Now, first thing to do is to remove the mga pimples, the mga super obvious that we So we will be using the spot healing brush okay. so all you have to do is to click on the spot now to adjust the, the, the brush size just press on the parenthesis icon there open is to make it smaller and then close is uh, if you want to make it bigger so Basically, just click on the blemish or the pimples or mga gusto mong tanggalin na super obvious now. Like that. to undo you can edit and then step backward now you can see there's some mold you can also remove that if you want be clicking on it but tip but normally I don't do that because it is very unique to the model. Basically, ganun lang to remove the obvious spots. Don't forget to like and share this video. Then, we have to create another layer, so double click and then duplicate layer, and then we can name this Blur. Okay. And then, right click on the blemish layer again, then click on duplicate, and name this High Pass. 
and then drag this up just click on it and then hold it and then drag it up now for the time being tanggalin muna natin to let's make it invisible so click on the eye and then click on the blur there so what we're gonna do is just like what it says we're gonna blur it so click on filter go to blur and then surface blur basically we're just gonna blur it radius uh, move it up until halos wala nang details why? because we want to remove all kung gusto natin matanggal para mabunan siya so yeah so try to blur it like that para mabunan na yung details and then put back the high pass there click on it don't forget to click on the box here to show the eye icon again and then there now what we're gonna do next is click on filter again go to other and choose high pass and so you change the radius um, the higher the radius the more details it will show so just for the sake of this um, tutorial konti an lang natin we want to make it we want to make her skin super smooth but not really yung smooth na not at sobal pa din mukha pa ring balat ng tao <laughs> so maybe let's use 1.5 radius Okay, click on OK, and then click on the down arrow here, then choose hard light. There you go. Now, kung makikita nyo, parang ganun pa din, parang hindi pa rin siya natural tingnan, parang over-edited pa din. So what we're gonna do is to merge these two layers together. So click on high pass, then press shift and then click on blur and then right click and then merge this two together merge layers all right now you will see here these are the merge layers and then this is the blemish layer this is the original as you can see dito kita pa yung zoom natin yung mga pimples then we remove it on the blemish layer and then um, in the high pass and blur layer which we merge into sha. So parang sobra naman. So what are we gonna do next? We have to click on layer and then click on layer mask and then hide on. We'll create another layer which is the layer mask which will hide all the changes. Now, you can see here, black, yung layer mask. It's because it's hiding all the changes. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the brush tool and make sure the foreground uh, is white. So, make sure you choose white so that you could, uh, when you brush over the layer mask, it will hide a little bit of the blemish on the skin. Now we will we can adjust the opacity if you want it sobrang blurred, sobrang keenest. Uh, you can choose 100, but we opt to choose like probably 70. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, what you wanna do is to just brush over the areas that you want to use. see the skin looks smoother natural um hindi siya yung parang porcelain yung pagka smooth niya um meron pa rin siyang pores 
looks more natural. Basically, that's it. That's how you make it smoother but more natural looking. You can actually edit the eyes. I mean, but yeah, um, okay. You can actually remove this. Hold on. I'm uh, good to okay. Two layers, duplicate, and then bridge them together. So, I can only do my brush. So, there you go. That's the finished product. You can see here. This is the original one. See here. Have some some pimples there, but once after we have post processed it, now we can regain back all the shadows. If you want to. But you just want to make. I just want to show you how to remove the blemishes right now. Okay. So that's it. Don't forget to like and share this video. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something new, especially doing sa pag post process of pictures. Just a tip, do not overdo anything in the picture because you want to make sure na recognizable pa rin the image na inaayos natin. I used to be like that before. Sobrang sobla akong mag-edit. A friend from the industry told me to minimize the editing and make it more natural. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with having flaws. It's actually okay. You know, man, kapawasan kung meron kang scar or any flaws. Uh, that what makes you you. But the purpose of editing these pictures basically more on kailangan siya sa trabaho, kailangan siya sa requirements siya ng clients. Be okay lang sa atin na magdawa tayo ng flaws. Just have to be confident that God created all of us after his own image. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Also, that like button if you want to show some love and if you want to support me on this video. And kindly click on that notification bell as well so that you will be notified whenever I upload new contents on my channel. So yeah, thank you very much again for watching this video. I hope you guys are healthy, you guys are safe, and remember to always pray and that God loves you so much. I love you all. Take care and God bless.